Welcome to Varlamore, the largest area expansion to hit RuneScape in years. The amount of content in this update is completely unprecedented, and due to the sheer size of the update, I can't imagine that it won't spark that old childlike wonder of experiencing the game for the first time that we all fondly remember from the times of old. Only now, we actually are old. How's it going? I am UAM Loki, and I am going to be jumping into Varlamore in about 8 hours when I wake up. And let me tell you, for the next one day, maybe two, this old guy is gonna be a kid again. Oh, dude, there it is. Valormore is here. We got the brand new login background situation going. I am so excited. Let's go. I got the Coliseum, the Perilous Moons, Hunter Guild, and more. Dude, holy shit. I am so excited. There's so much stuff to do with this update. Supposedly, we're gonna come to this uh, Quetzal over here. Where is it? <laughs> I guess this is a Quetzal. That's pretty neato. All right, the Quetzal's gonna take us on in there. We made it. Oh, this is Valormore. We made it, boys. All right, well, we are here. I don't even know what I want to do first. Jagex released this handy dandy map with all the new content. I think a guy named Gentle Tractor made it, so shout out to him. Looks like in the capital, we've got the Fortress Coliseum. In the mountains, we've got the Perilous Moons, which is a new dungeon. And then over here in the plains, we've got the Hunter's Guild. And there's also four new quests in the whole area. I feel like the Fortress Coliseum is going to be the biggest, most flashiest content. That and Perilous Moons, probably, so I don't know. I'm just too excited. I, 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 uh... All right, I guess we'll start off by doing the Twilight Princess quest. I don't know what this is going to do for us, but probably will be good. I don't know. Man, it's hard to do the quest when you're just space bars skipping through all the dialogue. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking for a medallion from... Uh... Oh, wait, okay, nice, we found it. Wait, I think that's it. I don't know what that is, but I was just going to say we got an easy clue from this guy after four pickpockets, so this could be interesting easy clue content. Oh, I'm just doing the quest still, and I found this nice little blacksmith shop. This could be useful for lots of things. Spears for, like, the Kandarin Diary, plate bodies for like Giant's Foundry. Obviously, just like an Adamant Scimitar is a good weapon for low levels. I don't think this place has any requirements to get to, so yeah, that's great. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got my very own Quetzal. <laughs> it's like Avatar when I get my own flying mount or whatever when he gets the bird thing. It's gonna be like a tumultuous love-hate relationship, right? I am calling it. We're calling it here. Uh, no, okay. Looks like he's just a nice big bird. Wow, my guy is like questioning religious beliefs using their own logic against them. Hmm. But then this guy modestly says, yeah, you're kind of right, actually. There's other interpretations. Was not expecting that. Oh, we did the quest. What the hell? The good guy just got like stabbed in the heart. Now the quest is done. What the heck? What a cliffhanger. He, he was a good guy. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, all right, we did it. All right. Well, next up, I think I want to go do the uh, Perilous Moons quest, which is right here. But I got sidetracked because there's some beautiful, beautiful Amanitas Muscaria mushrooms over here. And I just couldn't help but admire them for just a moment. Okay, that's good. Now we can go do the quest. We are going going into the building. This place is called Cam Torum, and it's a big, beautiful, ornate drawbridge door. We are going in. This is probably where the Perilous Moon's dungeon is. Ooh, another rune pickaxe shop. I think there's only like two in the game, three in the game at the moment, and now there's another one. Oh, I saw this place in one of the teasers from Jagex. All of these sulfur naguas, and they're getting me. I don't want to get Get it. Get me out of here. Oh, a rune shop with 500 medium tier runes, nature's laws and deaths. Most shops don't have that. Most shops have like 250, right? That's interesting. Hmm. All right. They have one of these places. Um, I kind of forget what these do again, but I think they're probably useful if you're like really bad at the game. No fucking way. This blacksmith sells an Addy square shield. That's like such a hard item to get on an Iron Man. You need it for two different blue steps. It's like a one in a hundred from Cyclopses or you got to smith it. It's not a good item to get. And this guy just sells it to you. God Damn. All right, well, I'm, this is probably not like exactly the clearest sequences of events, but I'm still doing the Perilous Moons quest. I've got to get a moss lizard tail, so I'm just killing these creamy lizards trying to do it. I don't think these are the right guys, so I'm going to stop killing them, but they do drop a bunch of oak roots, which is a super interesting, unique drop that no other creature in the game drops. So that is a cool thing to know about. All right, well, I left to get some materials for the quests, and I'm just on my way back, and it looks like there's a inconspicuous whole master here, which I guess that means there's a new master blue step. Um, so I'll be curious to see what that is. Also, I need to build this landing site so I can fly my bird here instead of having to walk here because it's pretty far. And Quetzal feed stacks. I'm just going to take note of this for the next time I leave and come back. I will bring that. Oh, okay. So this is the hunting method. You set up a trap along the two rocks, then you rustle the bush. The lizards come flying out. I guess because I've uh, got an onion hunter, I get more lizards. And then we just pick up the lizard <laughs> and then so you can cook this thing and eat it. I don't know. That looks like uh, the new hunting method. Method. I think it gave like 80 XP each. We'll have to see uh, how that manifests later on. Hold on a sec there, buddy.
buddy. As you can see right here, I pick up a Moonlight Grub and I grind it up, but I don't know what else to do with it, so I just continue on. But <laughs> it turns out that this was actually an unintentional, zero cost, 100k plus herbal or XP an hour method, which as a UIM is incredibly valuable. So I got linked to this Twitter post by Jamily Flowerworks, so shout out to them. And here's just a brief showcase of the method. Essentially, you just bring Humidify, some vials, and then you grind up the grubs and put them in the potion, and you get 50 herbal or XP for each potion you make. So yeah, easily 100k plus herbal or XP an hour. This ended up getting hot fixed pretty soon after it was discovered though. So yeah, that's probably a good thing because this would ruin herb lore for all Iron Men pretty badly. All right, shit, we're in. Uh, I guess this is a group content, but I don't know what I do. Oh, we're still just staying on the glyph. That's right. Bro, I'm getting fucked up. No! Oh, my ring of life just teleported me out of there at 1 HP. <laughs> Damn, that was scary. I don't think the meat pies are gonna cut it. All right, well, I'm gonna try and build our first landing site for our Quetzal so I can get to the Perilous Moons faster with this teleport. But according to the wiki, the only way to get Quetzal feed is by completing rumors at the Hunter's Guild. I guess rumors are the equivalent of like farming contracts, but for Hunter, and it's only a possible reward. It's not even a guaranteed reward. So I guess we're gonna be here for a while. I don't even know how long though. So I guess we will find out. And by the way, yeah, this is the Hunter Guild in the uh, sort of western, southern area. Got a hunter shop, fur trader, another quest. Oh god, do I have to do another quest? And of course the Hunter Guild itself. Oh yeah, I have to do the quest, god damn it. Oh, dude, they got capybaras. Hey, capybara. <laughs> I want to fucking hunt these things and kill them. No fucking way. A sweet corn field. You can pick your own sweet corn now. Yeah, I can't remember what you need sweet corn for, but I think it's like tuna potatoes or there's there's something that you use it for, and you used to have to farm it as an Iron Man. Maybe it's like a scarecrow ingredient, I forget. This place is full of like unique things that are actually useful. It's kind of cool. Oh, dude, okay, this is actually <laughs> actually useful. We got a tree patch here, right next to the transportation from the Quetzal in the uh, Locus Oasis here. I guess there's some rare trees here too. A bunch of teak trees, oh shit. Yeah, six teak trees. That is really, really nice. No two tick spots though, it looks like. Oh shit, okay, this is the jackpot. I just found a fairy ring. I did, I've just been taking the Quetzal's all around here, but I can just fairy ring here. I don't even know what the code is for this one. Oh, okay. looks like it's AJP. Interesting. Yeah, that's going to be super useful. All right. I'm just doing the quest here and it looks like we found another cool hunter training method. We hunt these ember tailed jerboas. I need one of the tails for the quest, but I figured I'd show you one real quick here again. So here we go. 137 hunter XP. Not too bad. Although I'm not sure what these things are used for yet. Oh, that's right. There's also a new herb patch. Just a uh, due west of the main capital city here. Looks like the nearest transportation is the Hunter Guild, which is pretty close. Dang, that is that is nice, man. All right, well, I'm getting a little sidetracked again. Um, I, Essentially, I found this little like urchin chilling in the very corner of this capital city here. He said I need to get one of these house keys and then we can like rob some rich people or something. So he's saying, looks like Caius isn't home right now. Go quickly. His house is north of here. So I guess, oh, there's even a little arrow on the minimap. Nice, okay. I imagine this is going to be like uh, stealing artifacts at Pisca Taurus. We broke into the house and then I guess we just ransacked the place. It's like each one of these valuables gives us 45 leaving XP and then a big 630 XP drop. Here's someone spot the homework. Oh, no, get up, go, 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 go. Where we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? This follow this guy. He knows where to go. I guess you're fucking jumping out the window. Okay. I'm going to hand in all of my 85 valuables. Let's see what we get. 4.6k. Okay, I guess that's fine. 55 GP per valuable. So I think that's exactly what you get from Arty Knights, isn't it? 50 GP. Interesting. Okay, well, yeah, I def I'm not going to be doing this uh, for much longer or at all, really, but definitely could be some interesting stuff here. There's these trappers tipples dotted all around these tables, and when you drink it, it boosts your hunter by two levels, and they're just kind of free. They're just sitting around. You can steal them, I guess, and no one really minds. All right, well, this whole quest was repairing this cat's bed, <laughs> which is probably the best Best quest in RuneScape, hands down. OS complete. 4,500 Hunter XP, not too bad. I don't know if this place has a requirement, but if you can do that at level one, I'd probably get you to like level like 10 or 20 or something, right? Pretty nice. And now we can get our first rumor so we can get our feed so we can get back to the perilous moons because we've been sidetracked pretty much for the last hour or so. Looks like we've got to kill a local sunlight antelope and bring back its hoof. All right, I guess we'll go figure out how to do that. All right, well, I found the sunlight antelope spot because I know it's a pitfall trap and this is 
is the only place with pitfall little things. Normally the hunter icons will have like the number of creatures there are in each area. But I guess these don't for some reason. Maybe that's like a rune light plugin or something. I don't know anyway. And we are going to catch some of these guys. Wow, 380 XP. All right, we got our first ever sunfire splinters. I don't know what these do. I'm pretty sure you attach them to fire runes actually to make sunfire runes. I conveniently have some fire runes on us. You probably have to do it at a binding altar or whatever, I guess. So maybe I'll hold on to those just so I can test those out. Oh, damn. Okay, we finally got it. That took a while. I had to do like 10 of these or something, as you can tell by all the uh, sunfire splinters. But there is the hoof. All right, we're going to turn in our first rumor. I have no idea what this is going to give us. Here we go. Hunter's Loot Sack Tier 3. All right. I'm assuming this is the highest tier one you can get because this is the master guy. So we're going to open it. All right. There's the Quetzal feed. Hopefully it's more than one. Enhanced Quetzal Whistle Blueprint. This whistle requires a knife and one set of e-logs. Interesting. Okay, some blessed bone shards. Sun-kissed bones. Dude, what, what is all this stuff? Some landodimes. We got one Quetzal feed and I need 10 to build this thing. Holy shit. Am I really going to do this right now? I don't know, man. I think I think we're going to go for the 10 Quetzal feeds because I'm, I'm just enjoying this, I guess. All right, we got to hunt some red chins now. I knew it. I knew there was some new teleports on here. I just noticed this, but the Forest Coliseum in the jewelry box in the POH, uh, I guess it's blocked out. Can't go there yet. I have to reach the hero status. Interesting, interesting. Because this one was added, every other one is now one letter or number different. Man, that's hard. <laughs> for the longest time, it's always been I for the farming guild, H for the woodcutting guild, and I'm going to have to reprogram my brain to like do these all. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it was K for the great exchange, L for follower park. God damn. That's kind of annoying, actually. I don't like that. All right. So I think we can go ahead and do a few things here. I'm just going to give you guys like a little first look at all the new contents that came with today's update. These sun-kissed bones, you can't even bury them, but what you can do is break them down into additional blessed bone shards. We'll get back to that in a sec. For now, we're going to put these sunfire splinters. We're going to take the pestle and mortar out of the max cape so we can put these sunfire splinters into these jugs of wine that I got, making them into a jug of sunfire wine. Sort of turns them a bit orange. And then we can bless them on this exposed altar to get jug of blessed sunfire wine. And then if I'm not mistaken, there was like a bowl over here somewhere. I remember from doing the quest. Is this it? Is this where we go? Fill libation bowl. I pour the sunfire wine into the libation bowl. 600 prayer XP. Oh my God. What the fuck, dude? Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So you use one jug of wine per 500 bone shards and each 100 shards gives you 600 prayer XP. Yeah, this is like a new prayer training method, dude. 600 prayer XP each. God damn. Okay. Yeah. And then I guess if you come into the Cam Torum area, you can come to this mine here and you can mine these calcified rocks on the wall for the blessed bone shards. So I guess theoretically, this is pretty AFK getting 33 mining XP drops. This is like, whoa, this is cool. This is like motherload mine, but it's a mining hybrid prayer training method. Whoa, wait, this is kind of, this is crazy because you don't have to ever leave. You don't have to ever bank. It only takes one inventory spot. You just get like a stack of like 20k plus bone shards and then you go make it all into prayer XP. Holy shit, dude. This is so cool. I love this so much. We've been AFKing here for like a good 30 seconds at this point now. Man, you guys have it so easy these days. I would love to AFK edit videos while doing this. I would get 99 prayer over the course of like six months with without ever burying a single bone. That is so cool. <laughs> this is so great, man. I literally don't even know if this is gonna work. I spent like 20 minutes searching around all the Valormore hunter spots and I could not find a single red chinchampa spawn. So I just asked a guy in game if I could catch them outside of Valormore and I would still get the item I need. He said yes. And I go on the wiki and all there is is this red chinchampa tuft. There's not even any text. It's just a picture of the item. <laughs> so it's like, I have no idea if this is even what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just praying that that guy like properly properly assessed what I was saying and responded accordingly and didn't just like misinterpret what I was saying because otherwise he led us astray. And at that point, man, it's just like the most efficient thing to do now becomes having an ability to assess a person's character based on a first impression and being able to determine whether that first impression would indicate whether or not they're even capable of sufficiently interpreting what your intended meaning was. And I think this is it, guys. This is it. This is the childhood experience that we've been craving. This is what these updates are all about and we're doing it holy shit this is the best day oh and there it is it only took us 56 chinchampas this does indeed confirm that you can get the uh uniques from places outside of Arlamore. moonlight antelope okay interesting those ones are actually right here i imagine these are going to be pretty packed because this is the only place in the game where you can find them i'm pretty sure right yeah there currently aren't even any alive <laughs> there's one wow three people going for one i feel like we're all trying to get the blue dragon under the hero's guild and it's 2005 and there's like six people trying to attack it. Wait, what the hell is this? This guy got the pet? What the hell 
was that? He said he got it on his fourth bag. The pet is called the Quetzin. Damn, that is, I like that pet a lot. That is really cool. It's like a big old parrot, super shiny looking and green. It's great. What are the odds we find this guy and get to showcase this? How many people are never even going to see this thing for like weeks after the content's released? You know what I mean? Ooh, that one didn't take too long. There's the Moonlight Antelope Hoof. The Local Sunlight Moth. Okay, I haven't even done this one yet. Interesting. Let's go do it. 74 XP each. This is not bad, dude. What level do you even need for these? How is this so good? Dude, if these things have static spawns, I imagine there's got to be someone out there who's going to figure out the exact right method to get non-stop two ticks 74 XP drops. So there's no downtime at all. You just bring a full inventory of stamps. I mean, I'm not going to be that guy, but I'm sure someone out there will do this someday. I mean, look how many spawns there are. There's got to be like a... That sounds so satisfying. Like, just like a path that you... It's basically like the Hollowed Sepulchre or something. It's like a path that you follow tile by tile, tick by tick. If you theoretically could get a 74 XP drop every two game ticks, that would come out to 222,000 Hunter XP an hour. That sounds like really fun and really engaging content nonetheless. Wow. Hey, there it is. That took kind of a while, but we did get it. it took about, I don't know, 10 minutes. But I'm going to go ahead and open up nine Hunter Loot Sack Tier 3. What do we get? Hunter Spear Tips. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. Lots of these Sun Kissed Bones. That's really good. Aventos. Raw Moonlight Antelope. I do want to actually hold on to the Raw Moonlight Antelope because supposedly that is the new best in slot food. We've only gotten two Quetzal feeds. No, that's- Bro, I forgot we were like even going for those. I was just so enamored with how much fun I was having. I forgot that that's what we were even going after. I need 10. How the hell are you supposed to get 10 of those? That's insane, dude. I only got three. I spent like two hours doing that. Oh god. But yeah, I guess we got some herbs. Magic logs are nice. If you're like an Iron Man looking for magic logs, this is a cool way to get them. All right, well, I'm skipping over a little bit here. But we did turn in our enhanced Quetzal Whistle blueprint to this guy on the top floor of the Hunter Guild for our enhanced Quetzal Whistle. And now we're gonna use it. I don't know what it does. Oh shit, okay, so you use it, the bird picks you up and rings it right here, and then it consumes a charge. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> I was hoping this thing would be better. I mean, it's fine, I guess. I also went ahead and made these hunter spears out of the hunter spear tips that we got from the loot sacks. It's a ranged weapon that gets its max hit based off of your melee strength bonus. So our melee strength bonus is 112. I guess we'll go ahead and throw some of these and see what we can hit. All right, so I went ahead and obliterated the inventory just so I could build a combat dummy like a good YouTube so I could show you the max hit on this thing because I am desperately curious. Max hit is 29. Okay, now let's see. If I turn on piety, does that boost my max hit even more? 29 still. What if I do rigor? Does, does that boost the max hit? It does. Okay, 37. All right, I just have to try this with a range pot to see what our true max hit is. Well, what are we going to get here? 37. Wait, so the range pot didn't even increase our max hit. Maybe the super combat will increase our max hit? That's so interesting. All right, we'll sip the super combat, putting us up to 118. We got rigor on. What is the max hit? 44. Oh my god. So this Dude, it goes off of your strength level and your strength bonus. That is bizarre. Yeah, if you're on a Slayer task, you're going to be hitting 50s, dude. This is like so interesting. Man, what a fucking fascinating item, dude. What a great update. This is so cool. I love this. Alrighty, friends, there is another 10 looting sacks acquired. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our 10th Quetzal feed with this. There is one, two, nothing, 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 three. Oh, wait, did I just get three and one? I've only ever gotten zero or one, then I just got three and one. Holy shit. We're gonna get it right here. Hell yeah. Oh, we got another three. Dude, what the heck? Look at all these. I just got 13 of them. All right, yeah, that is really, really nice. That is great. Great. I also got a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to be dropping all on the ground. Um, I guess theoretically you could like take a screenshot of this to see what we got from 10 of these. And then you could extrapolate that out to like a hundred or a thousand even, although it's probably a pretty small sample size. All right. Well, I did actually end up picking up the blessed bone shards that we just got from that because I figured prayer XP may as well not waste it. It's totally bizarre that we're going to get 15k prayer XP from training hunter for an hour or something. I just love this. I love the prayer training method. This might be my favorite part of the whole update. And now that we've been sidetracked for a few hours, we can finally get back to the thing we were trying to do, building the Quetzalan site. There it is. I hope this was the right one to build. I easily could have chosen another one to build, but we built this one. And now we can travel here from all these places. So that is great. <laughs> and with that, we are going to uh, get back on in there to finish the Perilous Moons quest. So it seems like all of these bosses are pretty much the same thing. You stand on the glowing glyph and then you attack the boss. And that's 
pretty much the whole thing. The glyph just goes around in a circle. Periodically, they'll do special attacks. You just uh, deal with them. They're pretty intuitive. In this case, we're walking behind a shield. But yeah, it seems as though this fight is just like continuously ongoing and its HP is relative to the individual player rather than to the boss itself. What a unique fighting style mechanic situation. I never would have imagined that, that that would be a thing. It's unimaginable. <laughs> That's what it is. And it's in the game because the game is good. Oh, it's like Raining Blood. Isn't that like a song by Slayer? Shout out to Guitar Hero 3. If you know, you know. Look at that. 40k Slayer XP, 5k Runecraft, 5k Hunter, 5k Fishing, Perilous Moons completed. Wow. What a great quest. All right. Well, I believe we can now actually loot the loot chest. All the sparkles are here. That probably means it's for us. Here we go. What are we going to get? Addle, addle darts. Hmm. Oh, it's a collection log slot. wonder how rare that is. I wouldn't imagine it's rare if it's just a dart, right? Uh, I guess we'll take it. We have officially completed 1kc at the Perilous Moons. Now, I was only ever intending for this video to be 20 minutes, and it looks like we've already done that. I have about six more hours of footage to go through, and there's just no way that's going to make it into a video. I was just having such an absolute blast that I couldn't help but include every tiny little thing in the video, and it ultimately left us with a ton of unused footage. I'm probably just going to end up sitting on the footage forever and then eventually deleting it. Unless you guys like really want to see that, then I can upload it, I guess. If this video gets 2,000 likes, then I will do that, but no hard feelings. If you don't want to see it, then that's fine. I understand there's probably every other YouTuber and their brother making this exact same video right now. So with that, I will go ahead and leave you guys for now. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Take care. Until next time, I love you. Bye. Massive shout out to the YouTube members at the Silver Tier. We've got Chester, Thornforge, Brendan, Toasty the Wizard, Benjamin H, Cookie Cake, Gangplank Main, Kenneth M, Nihilism, Rip, Trogathor, Chicken Noodles, Clump, Alfredo, JPT, Cope, Fruboy, and Jacob P. The Gold Tier, we've got Iaea, Misks, David Boone, Killer Queen, Bellham, Dubbing Till Death, Gilly, Obtainable Beer, a Meft, a Morn Tripod, Soap Ski, Big Dick 69, It Slits, Romulus, Scorlots, and our newest member, D Stock. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one.